What is good guys, back more tournament coverage, this time Shiloh aka Roses versus my man Ultra Bolt and looking at the teams, the Yanzi is obviously uh, Mega and the Rocker on Roses side, then probably uh, AV Tangros to check Greninja, uh, Salasila most likely a bit more fist death, and then Tornadus is probably offensive since he already has multiple ways to check Kartana, so either Metronome or Zemov Tornadus is what I'm thinking, and yeah, the Greninja... Like, it doesn't have to be Scarf Greninja, but it could be Scarf Greninja. Uh, he might also just not have a Scarfer, and this could be Battlebond Greninja, um, because he has potential priority on this on the and on this if it's Battlebond, and he also has a defensive backbone, so it doesn't have to be Scarf Grin. On Ultra Bolt side, we see Mega Scissor Squad, uh, probably Standard Gastron, Scott Recover, Toxic Earthquake. Um, I think Scarf Landris with U-Turn Earthquake, Defog, and the last move, either HP Ice or Stone Edge. Uh, then Z move on either the Heatran or the High Dragon, probably on High Dragon. But yeah, turn one. Um, we're probably gonna see a switch here from Ultra Balls to Scout for the Greninja being Choice Scarf, because I'm pretty sure his Coco is not Choice Scarf. And if Roses is Scarf, he can just go for U turn. If he's not Scarf, he's obviously gonna have to switch out into Tangros exactly to Scout. Um, to not that just sack the Greninja turn one, right? He had to switch out of the Coco. And yeah, Ultra Balls scouted for that, and now obviously Ultra Balls is gonna switch out. Um, into Scissor, which is his only, which is like a safe switch in to Tangrowth. Outside of High Dragon, High Dragon can also switch in. But Scissor covered um, Shiloh doubling into the Anthe. I think he might have doubled into the Anthe, predicting the High Dragon. And Ultra Bolt plays it safe, and now he can just switch out. He goes on the um, Landers instead of Heatran, because um, that's a good play, because it scouts for the Celesteela having Earthquake. And now he pivots back into either Heatran or Coco. Pivots into Heatran. Heatran or Coco both cover the Tornadus. He obviously wants to switch out here because he doesn't want to get knocked off though. And yeah, Rosas just U-turns and gets momentum. But yeah, um, Ultra Ball switching out means he didn't want to get knocked off. Means his uh, Heatran is definitely leftovers and not Z-move. So Z-move is probably on High Dragon. Like there's a slight chance it's on a Coco. But um, yeah, I think the Z-move is just on the High Dragon. And yeah, Scizor... Um, it's either going to U-turn or knock off here, we'll see what set it is. It is knock off and it gets rid of the Celestia's leftovers, that's really good for Ultra Bolt. Now yeah, I can just switch here um, into either Coco or Landris. Yeah, it goes into Coco and yeah, Rose is just going for Leech Seed and yeah, if Ultra Bolt can stall this out of Leech Seed, I think he might pull a double switch here, predicting a protect from the... Oh, he just hard U-turns, which is also a fine play. And yeah, he gets in the Landris on the Zygarde, but he's pretty quick. Um, I don't know if he wants to... Yeah, I think U-turn is free, honestly. Um, he can also put a double if he doesn't want to take potential Rocky Helmet, but like I said, I don't think the Torn is Helmet. So I think U-turn is fine here for Ultra Balls. And even if the Torn is Helmet for some reason, he gets um, good information about his opponent's team. But yeah, I'm thinking um, Z-Move is either on Zygarde or Torn, pretty much. So yeah, U-turn here. You can either go into the Scissor or into the High Dragon. And yeah, I'm thinking the Scissor is... Either Curse or SD on this team is a win condition, which can definitely win um, the the game for Ultra Balls now that the Celesteela got knocked off. Because Ro like Roses doesn't have great answers for Scissor. If Greninja and Torn get whittled down, they can be in bullet punch range if Scissor boosts its attack. And it obviously beats um, the NC Zygart and Tangrowth. Well, I guess Zygart could potentially glare it. So he goes on a High Dragon, makes the more offensive approach and gets crit, which sucks. That's so annoying, dude. Like, High Dragon looked really scary for Roses to switch into, like, it could potentially have Flash Cannon or Earth Power to hit the Yancy. Um, obviously would have Dark Pulse, which would do a lot to everything else. And, yeah, I mean, Greninja resists Dark Pulse, but Greninja still doesn't want to come in on it. And if Greninja doesn't have Ice Beam, High Dragon also beats it if it's Ash Gran. So that's awful for Ultra Balls. Like, what a bad start. Like, I feel like he was in a great position and he gets crit. And I mean, you could say he could have gone into Scissor instead, but I don't know his Scissor spread. If his Scissor is a bit more offensive, a crit would have still done a lot, because I'm thinking that's definitely Bandit Zygarde. I don't know if a crit would have awkward if he wasn't Bandit. I think it might have done like 90 or something like that if he wasn't Bandit, so I'm think, pretty sure he is Bandit. So now Roses can just switch out here. Um, mm -hmm. Tangros is the safe play, Celestia is also a play, but I think Tangros is just the guaranteed safest play, exactly. And Ultra Bolts goes for Edge, because they're, yeah, like, Roses didn't have... Ultra Bolts tries to catch him there going into the Torn. Um, because Ultra Bolts now is kind of in the back, wanted to catch his opponent on a misplay, but now he's forced out here into Scissor. Um, yeah, so can, Roses can potentially pull a double switch here, anticipating the Scissor to come out. Um, double switch into Celestia would be a good play, doubles into Zygarde instead. Um, I guess predicting the Heatran to come out, which was also a potential play, but I don't think he was gonna go Heatran. Uh, the Tangrowth doesn't have HP fire, it seems, otherwise the Roses could have gone for it. 
And yeah, now Ultra Bolts can click knock off again here and he will either get rid of an item or if Celestila comes out he will get some chip on Celestila, uh, which will force Shiloh to go for a Leech Seed to get some recovery back on the um, Celestila. Damn, losing her Dragon sucked so much. Like, if his Scissor was offensive, um, I want to run a calc how much Thousand Arrows would have done. Um, let me see. Like, I think Thousand Arrows would have done like 60 maybe if it was a crit to offensive Mega Scissor. Um, so let's just say Scissor Swords sword Dance because I know uh, UB likes SD Scissor. But yeah, UB is free to click knock off your roses. Um, stays in and that's yeah, definitely banded damage. And he knocks off what is most likely a band exactly. And now UB is free to go for Roost. I mean, he's kind of still in the game, but he would have been in such a good spot if his High Dragon didn't get crit. So he's just gonna Roost here, um, gets the Torn in Shiloh. And yeah, U-Turn is definitely the play here because either Coco or um, Heatron is gonna come out. Obviously, Coco is the play that you wanna make as he gets crit and confused. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I obviously want my man Ultra Balls to win and even like, like, even if it was the other guy, I would still get mad because I don't want to hack like this. Now, he can try to get a roost off here, but he hits himself in confusion. Okay, okay, okay. You can say he could have potentially doubled out there to not hit himself, but, like, come on, dude. Crit confuse after his high dragon already got crit. Now, he obviously has to go scissor here. Does Shallow double? Just Earthquake gets some chip. So, um, he's either going to go into his Celesteela or Tornadus as he pulls a double into Heatron, which covers both. And yeah, and now Ultra Balls can get his rocks up finally, um, get something going. And yeah, Roses has three Heatron checks, um, Greninja, Zygarde, and Deancey, which Deancey might have off power. So one of the three is going to come out right now. And yeah, Zygarde comes out on most likely rocks. And this pretty much means either Scissor or Landris has to come out, most likely Scissor. Doubles into Tornadus means he just wants to get the Defog off. And yeah, the Scissor cannot kill the Tornadus with Bullet Punch, so he can just Defog here. UB goes back in the trend, which means... Um, Shiloh can actually try to knock off to the leftovers, but he doesn't. He just U-turns. I guess he wants to scout the item, but it's pretty obvious that this is probably Lefty's turn. I don't think he, I don't know if he revealed it yet, but now he reveals it. And yeah, he just keeps doubling back in the torn. As I think, yeah, UB just keeps going back in the scissor, makes the safe play. And I mean, he's gonna keep defogging, but eventually, um, he has to just go for a knockoff if he has it, which he should have. Unless he only has knockoff on Tang and he doesn't have it on torn for some reason, which would be really odd. But yeah, eventually um, he's just going to knock off the trends left. If, if he has knock off UB, um, cannot go into his Coco because his Coco got crit confused and is super low. I mean, if he got went Coco there on a default, that would have been amazing. But it would have been a risky read. And now he gets knocked off and I will soon be see. Um, yeah, exactly. He just gets the rock back up. Rocks back up. And now he's going to Magma Storm. And yeah, the next time Roses gets a fog off, like... The trend is getting chipped now because it lost the lefties. And he misses a Magma Storm. Like, nothing is going his way. Um, yeah, he was either going... I feel like DNC or Greninja. I mean, unless he wanted to stack the Zygarde. But I think DNC or Gren was more likely because they were still healthier and could uh, switch in. So, um, yeah, I would, would have spiked there if I'm Roses, but I guess he wants to defog later anyway. And the yeah, Ultra Rose play was always this, and now he can um, throw off a Scald or Toxic here. But he just recovers and plays it safe, uh, which is understandable. Um, because he kind of needs this at full, because the Coco already is super low, which means if this isn't at full, the Greninja can become a huge problem. Now, Defox here, I think we see a Toxic here from Ultra Balls. Exactly, so that's at least something. He gets the Tornado on a timer. Torn is now going to U-turn out. And if the guest... Oh, he actually can try to knock off. But I think I would U-turn out just to get more regen, because if you stay in here to knock, then you would take Scald and Toxic, and your Torn would get really low. So I think I would just U-turn here, and if the guest room stays in, you can go into the... Um, Tangrowth. Um, yeah, I think Tangrowth is like the only thing he has for this. He doesn't have much for his Gastron, but he can like pivot around it because he has double regen. Like this Gastron is not a big threat for him. It's like annoying to break, but it's not gonna win the game. That's how I see it at least. But yeah, I'm gonna run the cult now. So if the scissor is offensive, a thousand arrows crit from Zygarde earlier would have done... I would have done 60 to... Um, wait, let me just put it in right now. Yeah, it would have done 60 to 71, a crit to Scizor, which means um, the next 1,000 arrows um, would have been a roll. So, like, the Scizor could have gotten to it killed if it's offensive SD. Well, yeah, I assume we see a Scald here. He just U-turns into Tangrowth. I agree with that um, U-turn play. Obviously, UB kind of had to Scald there just in case the Tom wanted to stay in to go for a knockoff. Now, Scizor's obvious. He makes a good double there and the Celestia like, predicting the Scizor to come out. UB doesn't want to stay in and take a Flamethrower. Um, goes for Leech Heat, anticipating the switch, which is a good play to get this back healthy. Now, UB can um, pivot back in the Heatran or Lando here, maybe. Goes in the Heatran as Rose gets the Torn. Uh, Rose is going to U-turn out here. I don't think this Torn has superpower. 
U turn knock off hurricane defog. So, um, we don't know the item yet, but I assume it might be. It's probably Z fly since the Zyga was banded. And the Greninja was specs, I'm pretty sure, from the damage that we saw in the Gastron. Yeah, yeah, so this is definitely Z. So, UB can try to get rocks back up here, but the trend is getting chipped now that it's lost the leftovers. But he's obviously forced to switch here, most likely into Gastrodon to scout. Um, the NZ can get up the rocks here. Oh, he tries to get Coco in on the rocks, I think. But he just dies to Earth Power. Unfortunate. Um, I don't know why he didn't go Coco there. Maybe he predicted rocks, like I said, and he wanted to get it in before rocks. And then he could scare the NZ out and potentially get a ro um, roost off with the Coco, if Coco... Like, but I don't know if Magnet Coco could potentially Oko the Yanzi. I don't know what his item is on the Coco. Maybe it's Shuka. I don't know. But yeah, just throws off a Skull there. And Roses is kind of forced to U-turn here because this is too low with the Toxic and everything. That's an annoying crit there. Can you, like, stop hexing? <laughs> I think he's just going to Skull again here. Um, because if Torn stays in, it would have gone down most likely. Uh, doesn't get the burn. So Scissor is the obvious play here. So that's Roses predict that and double out. No, just goes for knockoff to get some chip. Now, um... I think UB can just go for knockoff, but like, I don't know, he's like in a tough position. Like, for Roses, um, it's either a Gallows and the Heatran and oh my god, Roses Earthquakes. I mean, honestly, I don't think I would have doubled into Heatran, but I understand where Ultra Balls is coming from. Like, he was in the back because he was getting hacked, so he tried to predict the Celeste Dealer there, and he has Rocks up. because So if he doubles around with Rocks up, he can potentially pressure Roses and put himself back in the favorable position favorable position but yeah I, roses didn't have to go celestia just because um this is just a knockoff bullet punch scissor which like tangros could have lived i mean he would have lost the assault vest on the tangros but he doesn't need the assault vest on the tangros for anything the only special attacker that ultra bolts well i guess it could have been good for uh, eating a magma storm from heatran later in the game potentially but like I understand Ultra Ball's play, like I said, this is just a really frustrating game. If I was UB, I would be super mad. So he tried, to, he just tried to come back with some reads there, with some doubles, and it didn't work. Uh, but, like, Rose's play, I would not have made the play that Rose's made, staying in the Earthquake, but I kind of understand the play, because he didn't necessarily need the AV, and it covered UB making a double, and it also would have gotten some chip on the Scissor, and, like, the this, this Scissor doesn't have U-turn, most likely. It's just Knock of Bullet Punch Roost, and then either SD or Curse. I think SD probably... Which means, um, uh, Roses has to switch out here, I think he's probably in bullet punch range, so he has to switch here. Uh, into Celestila, I think, which is getting chipped a little bit, but yeah, this game is looking kind of over. A lot of bullshit hacks, and now he also got caught by that earthquake play. I mean, Roses was probably just trying to get some chip on Scissor and eventually force it to roost, and yeah, knowing that Scissor only has bullet punch and knockoff probably, which means Tangrove could have taken uh, any hit from Scissor quite easily, and he didn't necessarily need the AV. Like, it would have been nice, potentially, to eat a hit from Magma Storm Tran, but he didn't need it. So, um, you turn out here. Leech Seed is gonna come out, he's forced to go Gastron, and I guess he has to PP stall Leech Seeds from the Cellar Stealer now. But, it's not looking too hard. He recovers there, um, I mean, that's a good read, I guess, but the problem is... His recover PP are also important because Gastron is like the one one that Roses cannot break. Yeah, I mean I don't see Ultra Balls winning this. Now um, Roses makes a good read there. I mean it's not even a read. It was fr it was free to go torn. And yeah, you can just defog them away. Man, I'm like really frustrated. Obviously he has to switch out here on a Scarf Stone Edge. Uh, I would have gone Tangros there, but he goes Celestia, which is also completely fine, completely fine play. And yeah, you can just. Pr yeah, I mean, that was no point in protecting, but he could have protected with the Celestealer. Gets a nice crit there, um, which means uh, Roses is forced to go for U-turn here. He doesn't want to lose the Tornadoes. So he's just going to either Toxic... Oh, this is already burnt. Never mind. I was going to say, if this is not burnt, he can try to Toxic it on a switch. But yeah. Now he has to switch into Scissor. Um, Roses can potentially put a double switch, or he can just attack to get some chip, which means uh, Scissor will eventually be forced to Roost. I mean, you beast. Is he going to knock here? He just Roosts. Now he's uh, gonna have to switch out into either Gastro or Lando. Yeah, Gastro is like the play. Just flam flamethrower for a bit, um, I guess trying to get a burn. And yeah, Tangos is always free on Gastrodon. And UB has to go into Scissor, and Scissor is always getting chipped. And he cannot even get rocks back up since he lost his Heatran. I think the, the second he lost his Heatran, this game was pretty much over. But the Hex early on the game sucked even more. Um, Scissor would have been such a good win condition. And if High Dragon could have like been around and like break 
Rose's defensive core. Um, the scissor would have been more dangerous, and also if UB could have kept rocks up. Like, if he had the Coco to always come in on Tornadoes, would have also been amazing, but yeah, Pokemon. Um, yeah, dude. I don't even want to, like, narrate this anymore. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to finish it, obviously, but... He can always go Tang. Like, R Shiloh or Roses, however you want to call him, has no reason to predict. Like, Tang always comes in on this, and then he always gets some chip on Scissor, like... Knockoff has 32 PP and like not like he needs to knock off PP. And knockoff does not mu doesn't do much to sell us and he can just leech sheet always. And Ultra World only has like so many pivots, like he doesn't have the Coco to pivot in on the Celestia anymore because that got hexed down. So eventually um his Gastron is gonna run out of recover, which means um eventually Ash Greninja is gonna become a problem. Also, like Landros is getting chipped, as you guys could see, I just took leech sheet. Um, but he has to leech it every now and then to keep the Celesteela healthy since it got knocked off. Obviously he has to switch out on Flamethrower every time. And Roses just clicks it um, because Roses had enough Flamethrower PP. And just also tries to get a burn, I guess, on the incoming Gastrodon. And now he has to go back into Scizor. Roses can just attack every time. Like, no reason to double. He can double? Yes, he can. But he doesn't have to. Like, he can just play super safe. Um, yeah, I mean, doubling Celesteela in is a good play, though, because... Um... Yeah, you want to leech sheet every now and then with the Celesteela to keep it healthy. Mm, yeah, I mean, there's not much to con to to like say at this point. It's pretty obvious that um, unless something crazy happens, this is looking bad. He has to leech sheet now since he's getting knocked here and chipped down a little bit. And um, Rolls might pivot out here, breaking the protect. Yeah, goes in the landers. Just just flamethrower there. Um, Damn, he risked the Celestia getting burned right there, which I guess you can say... I mean, it was kind of risky. It was unlikely that UB was going to scald that turn, so you can say it was a good read, but I still don't wouldn't, I still would not have made that play. Now, he doesn't have good Tornadoes answers, and Tornadoes can now knock this off since it has the lead sheet recovery on its side, and UB is under defensive, forced to recover, Rose is free to go for U-turn and get this back to full. There's no reason to go for Hurricane Risk Missing. Okay, he does it anyway. I would have U-turned there. I mean, it's a fine play because he's still healthy. He gets the lead sheet back. So it was a completely fine play. I get the play because you want to stall out the recovers from the Gastron. But he could have also just U-turned in the Tangrowth and not risk anything. I mean, it wasn't a risk, but he could have played it even safer. Like, he has no reason to risk anything. Um, like, Hurricane was a fine play, but I still would not have made the play. So you can U-turn here to get some chip. Go in a Scizor and... You can see like a Giga Drain, maybe a HP as a knockoff, yeah, just Giga Drains. And now you can just switch. Switching to Celesteela. The only way Scizor can win is if Celesteela somehow runs out of Lead Sheet and Flamethrowers, I think. <laughs> Which, um, it still has plenty left, I'm pretty sure, at least like 12 or 10. And... Scizor doesn't, all, doesn't just win that easy, because Greninja is still at full. And with this being Lead Sheeted, um... This is actually really bad for UB, because, like, Greninja is getting passive recovery back. But I don't think... I wouldn't stay in here if I'm Roses, just because UB could go for Toxic here. Watch him go Deancey on the Toxic now to bounce it back. That would be an extra flex. But, yeah, UB might just go for Earthquake here, I guess, because that's a safe play. And that covers him going Deancey, and it gets some chip on the Gren. Um, what Roses could do is also lay up some spikes uh, with the Greninja right now. But I personally would just, um, I would probably just go in a Torn or Tang here, like, I would not risk potentially getting Toxic on Grand, even though it's, like, really risky for UB to go for Toxic just because of that DNC in the back, but he does go for it, okay. Dude, if he went DNC, that would have been so funny. Um, but, yeah. Now he has to go for Recover, and Roses is going for the Flinches here, I assume, which I don't agree with this play, um... I would have either gone for Spike with the Greninja, or I would have switched out um, into Tangrowth or Tornadus. Like, why not just get layers up, and like, this Gastron is going to lose recovers in the long run anyway, and eventually you can, you can go for game with Greninja without, um, like, being toxic. I don't know. I mean, if you have Spikes up and stuff, and then you get Greninja in later, then this would have been way worse for Ultra Ball, that's what I'm trying to say, but he only has 7 recovers left. The thing is, the Toxic is gonna rack up on the Greninja, though. I mean, I guess he would have gotten Toxic anyway if he would have tried to flinch this down later again, but 
if he tried to stall more recovers out before or get more spikes up he this could have been way easier for roses um i mean he's still in a great position and i don't think he can lose this game but uh i i'm not the biggest fan of how he played this um with the greninja now but yeah it doesn't matter i guess and yeah, he's running low on recovers. Obviously, he's forced out eventually because the Toxic is going to wreck up on the Greninja. Now he's forced into um, Scissor, which means uh, Roses can pull a double. Yeah, this, I mean, he could have also just attacked, but yeah, doubles in the size dealer. Probably wants to lead Shitty to get some health back as Landris comes out. Flamethrowers, which is also a fine play. And now Landris is pretty much dead. Uh, he's going to U-turn on Edge. I mean, he has to, he has to U-turn, otherwise he loses land. He has to U-turn into his Gastron. Roses free to lead Shitty to get some health back. Flamethrowers, I don't know why he keeps Flamethrowing. Uh, double into scissor maybe here, breaking the tangros, not just scald. And yeah, now that the Gastron doesn't have left, there was this is so bad for UB, and it's eventually gonna run out of run out of recovers. But yeah, what a frustrating game, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, he always goes tangros there, so that way he doesn't risk that they're getting burned. I think he risked it once earlier, but yeah. Now you turn here back into scissor. Just gonna Giga Drain or Earthquake or whatever. Yeah, Giga Drain gets some HP back and Burn will only hurt him a bit. Now he can switch back into Celestealer. But yeah, this team is... Like, if UB could keep Hazards up and have the Hydreigon around to break, the Coco around to pivot, stuff like that, then his, his Gastron would not have gotten knocked off if he still had the Coco around to switch into the Tornadoes. And if he had Rocks up and, like, had Hydreigon to break his defensive core, Scissor could have won this game um, for Ultra Balls with e I don't want to say with ease, but it could have definitely won. Like, I I want to say this would have been kind of in UB's favor if he didn't get hexed. Like, he had a really good shot at winning this without the hex, and yeah, this is just garbage. Now he's either gonna Hurricane here or U-turn. Like, honestly, doesn't matter. Like Ultra Balls doesn't have a switch in um, Scissor. I guess Scissor can kind of switch in, but no, Scissor will take a lot from Offensive Hurricane Torn. Pretty sure this is offensive. And yeah, he only has three recovers left, so the game is going to end um, quite soon, I'm pretty sure here. Yeah, you're going to see Hurri I think Hurricane is fine, just because he has the lead sheet on the Gastron, so that kind of helps him get health back from the Toxic. And... Hurricane plus lead sheet might also bring Gastron into range from Sky Strike if... UB doesn't recover enough, but he can't keep recovering because he's out of recover. So he might have to go off a dodge, I guess. If there is the dodge, is he going to Scald here? Yeah. And yeah, now he can just U-turn into Tangrowth if he doesn't want to risk anything. He can also just Hurricane again, but I think I would U-turn. But yeah, he just Hurricanes again. That does a lot, confirming that it's offensive. Gets another Confusion. Um, amazing. Amazing. Not that it matters at this point, but yeah. Nice one that it hacks. Amazing game. <laughs> But yeah, that's enough. That's enough salt. I'm not even playing. I should not be salty. Um, so you go... I don't think he wants to risk going down to Bullet Punch here, so Rose is going to switch out here. He's going to switch out into... Most likely Celesteela. And Ultra Balls can either go back into his uh, Gastron here, or he can try to get a Roost off uh, with the scissor, but I think if he tries to get a roost off, he will hit himself. Oh, he doesn't hit himself, wow. He tried to bullet punch predict, um, in case Roses wanted to stay in and throw the tornadoes out. Um, yeah, he's just hoping for his opponent to misplay at this point. But yeah, Gastron only has two or three recovers left. So it's looking really bad as he uses one right there. And yeah, Roses is super free to either go tang or torn every time on Gastrodon. No rocks for UB. Uh, no leftovers on Gastron since, like I said already, his Coco got hexed down, which means he had to let Gastron get knocked because he didn't have other taunt switch-ins. And yeah, Hurricane picks off the kill here on Landris. He's gonna Scald here as he gets the free Tangros, and yeah, UB can't do anything, the game been over. Is the music still there? I think the music ended. Um, I mean, I can pause it and put the music back in for the last minutes, I guess, but um, it's looking pretty much that this, like, this game will end soon. UB is still fighting. Um, it's free U-turn into Tang. He could have also Hurricane. Like I said, it really doesn't matter what he does. Um, like he had like so many ways to win this game. I don't like the way he played with the Greninja, which, like I said, did not make a difference though. This was uh, already wrapped up in his favor. Uh, like High Dragon clicked Dark Pulse and potential Darks into Darkseid, which could have killed 
Like, Tangrowth can't even hurt Hydreigon that much if it's Roost, Hydreigon. Like, HPS only does, like, I think 30-ish from Tang to Hydreigon. I don't know the exact calc at the moment. But you can't get knockoff if you Dark Sea Hydreigon, right? So that would have been a huge breaker for UB to have. Since it can just Roost on Tang and... Roses would eventually be forced to switch um, something else in, like... He would have to switch either Salas Dealer or one of his offensive mons eventually into the High Dragon because the Tangros would not be able to beat it when we won. And UB would just be able to um, break down his, de his team quite well. And like his offensive threats would always take chip when they come in on High Dragon. Like even if Greninja was his Stark pulls. Um, I don't know if the High Dragon had Draco, obviously, but if it had Draco, it would be even scarier because you can just bob Gren and Hi um, Gren or Torn if Shallow tries to pivot into those. Or, I mean, I'm pretty sure it had either Earth Power or Flash Cannon to hit the DNC as well. But yeah, this game is over. I don't know. I didn't pay attention. Does he have recovers left? He just goes to... Makes a read that Toxics. Um, I don't know what double he predicted, but I guess it didn't matter. But yeah, um, he says he can hopefully play him again without Hex, which uh, is what I'm hoping for too. Goes for the Z move at the end right there. Took all his time to go for the Z. Uh, frustrating game because I was rooting for Ultra Balls and yeah, just in general, even if this guy, even if I didn't know the guy who got hexed, I would have still been annoyed to watch this. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you still enjoy it and I'll see you guys later with more Smoke on Snake Drive coverage, more ulti coverage and also some guest uploads for UU for um, um, Little Cup and yeah, peace out friends.